In a technique which could prove to be a game changer in monitoring biodiversity, new research shows that zoo air is now becoming an essential catalyst for DNA testing and sampling. Take a look at this next report to know more details. Genetic testing for animals is a tedious, often invasive task. But what if there was a way of collecting DNA via the air that surrounds the target animals? Well, there is. Two separate research experiments in Denmark and the UK show that airborne DNA collection is in fact possible. With special filter fans that draw in the air from the zoo and its surroundings, which is actually heavily infused with environmental DNA. Over the last more than a decade, we've realized that this environmental DNA is more or less everywhere. So for instance, you can take a water sample from a lake and you can figure out what fish are in the lake. And now we've taken this one step further and realized, well, if water is surrounding everything in a lake and we can use that to detect, for instance, the fish in there, well, on land, air is surrounding everything and we can use that to detect what animals are around us. A non-invasive process that does not require waiting around to get hold of the animal. Animals, various species and even the species that are being fed to the animals can be identified with this technique. The experiment at Copenhagen Zoo was able to collect DNA of 49 species. These trees are equipped with sensitive fans with filters that draw in the air to take the DNA samples from. This method could exponentially simplify the task of conservationists monitoring biodiversity. However, it has a fair share of cons as well. We don't know how um, long the DNA of the animal stays airborne. We don't know if there's any difference between uh, animal groups. There might be animals that have different behavior and therefore maybe shedding more DNA. Um, and we also don't know um, what kind uh, what's the size of the particles? Are they tiny particles or are we finding complete cells from the animals? Both teams from the UK and Denmark used different filters for the airborne DNA and both were able to successfully detect various animals even beyond the confines of the zoo. The next step is to take this experiment into the wild. Bureau Report We On, World Is One. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.